Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a wireless microphone system. This is by a company called Pixel and it is called the Lark X. Now what drew me to this wireless microphone system and why I wanted to check it out is just its complete ecosystem. When you purchase it, you get everything you need to be able to connect it to things like smartphones, GoPros, and pretty well any type of camera. On top of that, it even comes with a charging case, which is a nice touch as well. Now, the other interesting feature this microphone system offers is noise cancellation, as it simulates DSP noise reduction technology. So that can come in really handy in a multitude of different scenarios. If you have background noise, traffic noise, you have fans running, in theory it should be able to help cut that down. And we are going to test that out here coming up in a minute. The other nice thing about this particular kit here is it is a dual transmitter system. So you have two transmitters and that can come in handy if you're doing things like interviews. As mentioned, it comes with this nice charging case so it makes charging all three components easy. You don't have to plug each individual component in. There's a USB port on the side for plugging in and charging up the case. We have a button here at the front that shows us how much charge is in the case. And all three components nicely store inside. As you can see here we have the two transmitters. Very simple design, one button on the front, that's how we power the transmitters on, but it's also how we enable the noise reduction. At the bottom we have a US Type-C port, but there's also an accessory and antenna that we can plug in there if you need better range. And again we'll take a closer look at that here in a minute. Here we have the receiver, USB-C port on the top. At the bottom here we have a couple ports. The middle one there is for headphones for monitoring your audio. We have an input and we have an output. The output is what we're going to plug into the camera. Now the one over here on the left hand side is input. And with that you can actually do a couple interesting things. You could plug in an audio source for background music, but more importantly what you can do is cascade several of these receivers. So that's a really nice feature. Basically you can daisy chain nine of these receivers and that allows for 18 of these transmitters to work at the same time. So if you're doing some kind of meeting, board meeting, and you want to capture everybody's input, it's fairly easy to set up. Now let's take a look at what all comes with the package when you purchase it. As already shown here, we get the charging case, we get the receiver, we get two transmitters. We also get this storage case, which is good when you're not using it. Keeps all the cables and parts nicely organized. As you can see, the charging case fits in there nicely. And at the top here, we have this pocket to keep all our cabling. And as mentioned, there's quite a bit in there. You have everything you need for most types of situations. The first thing we get here is our TRS and TRS cables. So this allows you to connect to traditional devices like GoPros and any microphone jack that has a TRS or TRRS connection. You also get this iPhone cable that has a microphone jack at one end that's going to plug into the receiver and then has a lightning connector at the other end for plugging into your iPhone. So that's kind of nice that they included that so you don't have to go out and purchase that separately. Here we have a USB-C to USB-A adapter. We have a USB-C to USB-C cable for charging. We have a camera mount. This is how you mount the receiver onto a camera. And then here we have extended antennas. Now you don't have to use these, but if you do need some extra range, you can plug these into the bottom and that will allow you to broadcast a little bit further. They just simply plug into the bottom like that. As mentioned, you don't really need them when you're working in a studio, but if you're outdoors and you're going to be wandering around and you're not going to be right close to the receiver, then you may want to consider attaching one of these. Now with all that out of the way, the most important thing about a wireless microphone system is how does it sound. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to do a couple quick audio samples. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got this rig set up. I've got my iPhone mounted and I have the Lark X connected. And we're going to do some audio samples. Now this is just the raw audio coming directly off the Lark X. In a minute here, we're going to enable the noise cancellation and see if it helps get rid of some of the background noise. One thing I do want to point out here, if you take a look at the screen, it gives us all kinds of information. It shows us the channel that it's on. Currently, we're on channel 3. You can change the channel if you do get any kind of interference. We also have a strength meter, battery meter. Of course, there we also have an audio meter. You can see when it's green, that means everything is good. And right beside that, we have a white dot. And what that means is that we are in normal audio. Once we switch it over to noise cancellation, that will turn yellow. So I'm going to switch it over to noise cancellation right now. You'll see that dot has now turned yellow, so that means the noise cancellation has been turned on. Now you'll notice that the audio is not going to sound near as good, so it's only something you're going to want to use in extreme circumstances if you have a lot of background noise. If you're in a noisy environment and you need your voice to stand out, that's when you would enable it. So I'm going to go ahead here and disable it. 
So now we are back at the normal audio mode. So again, this is audio coming directly from the Lark X. Well, folks, that's basically it for this review. Hopefully you enjoyed it and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.